Okay, now today guys, I'm going to share with you an adventure I had in the voter region. Now, trust me, you can't just wake up one morning and say I'm going to the voter region. You have to be prepared. Okay, so I took it upon myself to challenge myself to visit the voter region. Now, on my way to the voter region, <laughs> I must tell you, it's not easy. The road, I don't want to spoil it, but you better be prepared. Now, during this journey, I plan on visiting some amazing places in the Volta region. Now, on the list, later on, I'll tell you where I wanted to visit and what I did while in the Volta region. Now, if you want to find out, stay tuned. Now, wait, before I say anything else, I want to put this disclaimer, okay? This is not to tarnish the image of the voter region or whatsoever, or to make Africa look bad or Ghana look bad, sorry. This is just a disclaimer. When you want to visit the voter region while you are here in Ghana, I would recommend you use a 4x4, at least. Now, my adventure was very, you know, <laughs> my trip was very adventurous because of what I went through. I used a saloon car, which is a very small car. Now, what happened to me? My tire got busted twice because of the road. Now, mostly it's on tire. Driving in an untired road or driving on untired road with a saloon car isn't, isn't a good feeling. Okay, anytime my car falls into a potholes, I feel it in my chest. So, anytime you try to you want to visit the Volta region, please go with a 4x4. Let me just give you a sneak peek of what happened to me. Okay, when my tire busted twice, you know, and then later on my car battery died for whatever reason, I have no idea. But this is the motor region, and I was ready to go for an adventure, and they gave it to me. I got exactly what I wanted, so you know, it's part of the experience, and I loved it. So, the first thing I did when I visited the motor region was to visit the Willy Waterfall. If you don't know what Willy Waterfall is, it's the tallest. Let me repeat tallest waterfall in the whole of West Africa. Now, West Africa is not small. I'm talking about more than 14 countries. And it's just located right here in Ghana. The tallest waterfall. So, I did visit and um, I enjoyed myself, I must say. The pressure coming from high, about 90 meters high, you know, splashing down, it's just amazing. The wind, the water is so refreshing. And I, I visited. I visited and had so much fun. So I recommend you do that when you visit the Volta region. Uh, the waterfalls was discovered by hunters. Wow. Two hunters. hunters. Mm -hmm. The names are Maunya and Adika. Okay. The falls was discovered in the year 1618. Wow. Yeah. And it doesn't dry, always flowing. After 35 minutes of walking, now if you are quiet enough, you can hear the waterfalls splashing, the sound from very far away. We are crossing now rivers before to the falls. The first one we are going to cross now, that one flows from Togo. Togo? Yeah. Wow. And the rest of the is from the waterfalls. Waterfall, the tallest waterfall in West Africa. I just enjoyed myself in the Willy Waterfall now. The water is very refreshing. The pressure coming from high is just crazy, man. Anytime you are in the water region, try your best to 
visit the Willy waterfall and enjoy. So you think the first one is adventurous? <laughs> You've no heard about the second one. Let me tell you about the second one. Climbing the tallest mountain in the whole of West Africa. You think the first one is crazy, right? Now imagine the tallest in the whole of West Africa. The waterfall is just for you to just take a look, right? This time you are climbing up high about 700 meters into the clouds. Okay, Mount Nafagato is huge, let me tell you. I climbed it under probably an hour and <laughs> let the video explain what happened to you. Enjoy. Welcome to Mountain Afajato, the tallest mountain here in West Africa. Now, come with me and let's go. Let's go climb the tallest mountain here in West Africa. I am breathing heavy. <laughs> I remember this meme. You are breathing heavy like a dog. <laughs> You can never make it. You are here breathing heavy like a dog. Think about your life. You are a failure. You are a failure. You can never make it. You can never, you know you cannot make it. We are climbing for more than 40 minutes. And I'm just, I'm just at 600 meters up in the mountain. After editing video and posting, and I just have 10 viewers and 20 viewers, it's very discouraging. If you see this and you, you know you feel a little part of my emotions, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and share to friends and family. You are going to make it, man. I never gave up, and I'm here. Look at me. I'm chilling here, baby. So visit. Have an experience for yourself and stop watching Netflix every day, man. Stop being lazy. <laughs> this is the highest lone peak in West Africa. Welcome, Welcome to Ghana! Ghana! climbing a mountain I find that too I wanted to you know still push myself you know I was tired breathing like a dog like you saw but you know I wanted to still push myself because why not I'm in the water region so I tried playing with some snakes Ooh. the feeling is I just I feel like it's still here in my neck I am at Liatisoba now this place is a snake zoo and I'm going to have an experience where I'll have a very close encounter with the snakes you know, hold them, tie around my neck and I must say I'm very nervous but let's just go and see how it is <laughs> Come with me
I just conquered my fear. I'm holding the ball python so easy. Anytime you are in the voter region, please visit. He's the best person for you. He will help you conquer your fear. Guys, I'm going to put okay. his telephone number in the description box. Anytime you come to a flight or two, after climbing the mountain, it's just an, you know, five minutes to drive from here. Visit here, have an experience for a lifetime. And uh, yeah, you have fun, you enjoy it. Safe, there's nothing to be scared of. So after playing with a ball python and you still, you know, you want to just play with some more animals, why don't you just visit Tafia Monkey Century? It's very close, about 10 minutes, 20 minutes drive. So I visited Tafia Monkey Century. And then I really had fun, I might say. The monkeys were just amazing. I held the bananas, like you can see in the video, and they just jumped onto my hand. And I really had a good feeling. And uh, I enjoyed myself while in the boat already. Welcome to Taffy Atome Monkey Sanctuary. Now I'm here, you know, just to feed the monkey with some bananas and wow, I can't wait to, you know, experience. So come with me, let me show you more. Have to keep the banana very tight in your arm. Okay. You don't hold it too loose. When you hold it loose, you grab it and then French it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now give me, give me, give me extra. Yeah. She's in the house. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm enjoying my, you know, experience right here. The monkey is so friendly and it's just sitting on my arm. You know, it's quite heavy, but it's such an experience. Anytime you are in the water region, please visit and then, you know, check check them out. They are very amazing, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so far so good. It's almost done. It's almost done. I'm holding it very firmly. Okay. All these are the list of activities you can do when you visit the Volta Ridge. So please comment down below on what kind of videos you would like to see next. And yes, if it's your first time here, please like, share and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.